Future Bulldog, I'm Leslie Brister, the Admissions Specialist for the College of Engineering and Science here at Louisiana Tech University. I'm here today to show you some of our facilities and tell you more about opportunities associated with the 14 different majors within the, our College of Engineering and Science. Our first stop today is the building behind me. This is our new Integrated Engineering and Science building. We call it the IESB. This facility first opened its doors for winter quarter of 2019. In here, all of our students from computer science to biomedical engineering to physics will all have classes in here throughout their freshman and sophomore year here at Louisiana Tech. This location primarily houses freshman and sophomore classes. The majority of these classrooms house 40 students or less, with honors classrooms being capped at 24 students. This allows our students personalized attention during instruction time. The first floor of the building houses our engineering classrooms that allow students hands-on experiences in the class through the integrated Living with the Lab curriculum. The second floor of the building is home to our hands-on Living with Cyber curriculum that allows our computer science students a similar hands-on experience. You'll also find our math classrooms on this floor. The third floor of the IESB showcases chemistry and physics classrooms and lab spaces. Again, allowing our students practical application to the theory that they learn in the classroom. Engineering and science at Louisiana Tech promotes not only the development of the individual, but also places a huge emphasis on collaboration with peers. Throughout your time in the building, you will find numerous spaces designated for working on group projects, studying with classmates, or just hanging with friends. Our second stop, Neck and Hall, houses upperclassmen for computer science, cyber engineering, electrical engineering, and instrumentation and control systems engineering technology. Neighboring Neckin is Carson Taylor. That's where our upper level chemistry and physics majors study. Across the street, you'll find Bogard Hall, which has housed engineering students on campus since the 1940s. Upperclassmen in mechanical, industrial, and civil engineering as well as construction engineering technology and math called this building home. Here in the basement of Bogard Hall, we have numerous manufacturing and prototyping labs for students to use for class, research, and personal use. In these machine shops and prototyping spaces, we have all sorts of high-tech equipment that our students can access throughout the day. These tools span a wide range of uses. We have custom-built styrofoam cutters and water jets, lathes, milling machines, 3D printers that print up to six feet long, and all sorts of other high-tech equipment for students to use in making projects. The next locations to see are the Biomedical Engineering Building and the Institute for Micromanufacturing. Biomedical, Chemical, and Nanosystems Engineering students spend much time in these two facilities. These buildings house classrooms and research spaces for the college. Each year we spend approximately 10 to 15 million dollars in research dollars. Some of our current research endeavors include work in the Brain Lab, the Trenchless Technology Center, who is currently leading a project for Facebook, and work with the Department of Defense. Our last stop is TechPoint. TechPoint is not exclusive to the College of Engineering and Science, but provides many of our students internship opportunities with private corporations. Fenway Group, Radiance Technologies and Raytheon are some of the companies allowing our students time with employers without ever having to leave campus. Tech Point 2 is set to break ground in 2020. Thanks for exploring the College of Engineering and Science with me today, but there is still so much we would love to share. Please visit coes.latech.edu for more information on all of our programs and how to become a Bulldog.